Aslib Retain now includes a new feature for user-defined lateral pressures. But what exactly is this feature and how this could be used in some cases? Isn't it better just let the program to calculate the pressures based on the backfill properties? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to discuss this new feature in Aslib Retain, and we're going to answer all these questions. Let's get started. To explore this new feature, I have prepared an example in ASDIP Retain. This is a cantilever retaining wall. The stem height is 16 feet and is exposed to a surcharge and a backfill active pressure. And a water table is also present in the backfill. Let's click on the loads tab, the backfill tab. There are two options. The first option is let ASDIP calculate the pressures, which is the default. But now there's another option here, which is the new feature, user-defined pressures. Let's use first this option and let us calculate the pressures. Normally, the soils report includes the results of a field and laboratory test on the backfill material. These results may include soil properties, such as the moist density, saturated density, and also the internal friction angle. If we select the earth pressure theory here, then we have all the information necessary to calculate the, the lateral pressures. The resulting pressures are triangular, so zero at the top and maximum at the bottom. In this case, this has been calculated using the Coulomb active theory. However, in some cases, the soil report may not provide the soil properties, but the lateral pressures directly. Those pressures could be uniform, trapezoidal, triangular, etc. So it would be very difficult to model these pressures if the software assumes that the, that the diagram is triangular, as for example in the Coulomb theory. And back calculating the required properties to produce these pressures would be time consuming. Fortunately, as Deep Retain now includes a new feature to let you specify the lateral pressures at the top and bottom of the wall. If we click on this second option, now the user interface has changed and these new fields have shown up, the pressure at the top and the pressure at the bottom of the wall. For example, here we can specify a top pressure 150 PSF and bottom pressure 500 PSF. And the resulting diagram is as shown here, is a trapezoidal diagram. The software then uses this diagram to evaluate the stability failure, for example, in overturning, in sliding as well, in bearing, the bearing pressures also in the stem design, and also to complete the concrete design of the footing and uh, the wall itself. So this new feature is important for two reasons. First, because in some cases, the soil report may not provide the uh, backfill properties required to calculate the soil pressures. And second, because by calculating the properties that produce those pressures would be very time consuming. So with this feature, we can just enter those uh, pressures directly into the program and use them for the calculations and the final design. As you can see, this is a very important feature that is uh, already available in the current version of ASDIP Retain. If you are interested in the software, please download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.